one of the biggest mistakes you can possibly make early game in Palea is spending your renown wrong. So renown is earned very quickly early on because you'll be forced to do a bunch of quests, get to know the villagers, unlock achievements. You're going to be getting a lot of this. And then it's a slow trickle. Once you hit the mid and late game, it, it, it comes in way slower to the point where one of the only ways to get renowned besides hoping the villagers give you a daily quest or, or something nice is to go and fulfill requests from other players and you only get one of those at a time. And most players aren't even asking for things because you ask for four things per like 24 hour period or something ridiculous. Like it's a long cooldown. So renown is a very slow trickle. So what does renown do? There are three things that you can buy in the game with renown. You can buy what's called writs and that allows you to expand your uh, your housing area so that you can build more stuff, which is absolutely completely unnecessary unless you are a role player or you're in the extreme late, you know, boredom stages of the game where you are just decorating a house and nothing else. So never buy writs early on, ever, for any reason. The set th second thing you can buy is over here at Magi's Hollow, the Dragon Shrine here, which most people will just wander upon, as a new player myself also. When you go here, you will pay 100 Renown, and it will expand your Focus Bar, because your Focus Bar starts out pretty low. I think it starts out at like 1 or 200. It's pretty damn low, and what Focus is, this uh, allows you to earn bonus experience whenever you have Focus, and you refill Focus by eating. So I have uh, 14 of these hearty vegetable soups. It gives me 100 Focus Points. When I go mine things, or hunt, or fish, I gain XP in those skills, and that will drain the focus. When I have no focus, I don't get bonus experience. That's all it is. But you'll notice here at the bottom when I mouse over, it says your focus bonus is 50%. So that means I'm getting a 50% bonus to my XP earning. And that's the number that we want to increase with Renown. So we want to spend Renown on that, and a lot of people don't realize where this is at, and I didn't either. I had to actually look it up. But um, when you start the game, you come out of Phoenix Falls. That's where you spawn in. That's where you start the game at. So all you have to do is run back to the start of exactly where you first started. Run past the tutorial, the movement tutorial of the game. Go all the way back to the start. Like this is where you learn to climb and this is where you learn to jump over objects, right? And you'll see this Phoenix statue. And uh, this is where you increase your permanent XP gain percent. So I'm going to pay 100 Renown and Commune. Now I have 52.5% increased XP. Now, it actually jumps up by 5% every time until you hit 50%. And then it goes down to a 2.5%, which is still really, really good. I'm going to do it again. And now it's at 55%, so that's really, really nice. Now, I just want to explain how Focus works with this real quick. You're, you will start at 25% focus bonus. And the bigger your focus bonus, the more focus it will burn. All right, so say I mine a copper node and it burns 50 focus, right? If I have an, a higher focus bonus percentage, it's going to burn even more focus. I'm not just getting bonus XP for free. I'm just simply paying more focus. So the more your focus bonus is, the faster you will go hungry, essentially. Uh, so it's good and bad in both regards. The way I suggest you do it is you focus on focus bonus until 50%, and then once you've hit 50%, you then get your focus total amount up to the point where it's not super annoying to deal with. For me, I can farm for about 10 minutes with 625 focus before I need to eat a full bar worth of focus food. That's still kind of annoying, and I would like more focus, but unfortunately, the XP bonus is just far better, so I'm going to do it again, 57.5% now. And uh, yeah, that's all my Renown. Renown right now, it caps at 1,000, which I think is silly, because newbies might not even realize how to spend this. But that is the, again, that's the biggest mistake you can make, is just buying Ritz. Like, I, I bought 11 Ritz, and they're like 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 each. I could, this thing, I could have pushed this to possibly 75% if I had not known, if I had known what I'm teaching you today. This would be at 75%, and this number down here would be possibly 7, 800, uh, my f total focus. So, again, huge mistake on my part, but the good thing is, is that Renown 
It's not a limited resource that once you've done all the quests and you've completed everything the game has to offer, you can still get renown. And, and there's plenty of ways to get renown. Like, for instance, accomplishments here. Like, once I make 100,000 gold, um, I'll get 15 renown. And um, if I earn 2,500 renown, I'll get 30 renown. Hey, that's cool. Uh, what is this? Once I hit fishing level 10, there's another 15 right there. And uh, I, if I hunt magical creatures, you know, uh, just five of them, I'll get th no renown, actually. And no renown reward for that. But uh, you get the point. There's like a whole bunch of stuff here that you can earn renown by doing. And uh, also relationships, you know, with, uh, you know, people around town. Uh, unfortunately, I, uh, I'm i not romancing anybody. I haven't really bothered yet with any of that stuff. But, you know, maybe one day. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, j just talking to the NPCs every, every like, two days of talking to NPCs gets you five renown per NPC. So if you, if you make sure to go socialize with them every day, then, um, you know, in two hours, that's half... That's half a level of renown right there. That's like 50. So it's not too hard to farm. But hey, uh, with that said, don't make the same mistake I did. Make sure you spend your renown smartly and safely by getting that bonus up and then work on your focus as you level up your cooking. Because you just start with food that gives you like 50 focus. And that's going to be what you're eating for a while. Once you build up to more fancier dishes, then you can start leveling up your focus. But don't do what I did and buy Ritz. Don't buy Ritz, they're pointless, especially if you're not a role player like me, and if you're not like, a, you know, you don't care about the expanding your house, which does not make you money. It does not level you up, it does not advance the story in any way, it's just, you can invite some friends over and they can look at your virtual pots and pans and kitchen shelves or something. But with that said, thank you so much for watching, I'm Soul Benji. Please leave a like on the video. Listen, I've got to talk to you for one more minute so this gets maximum YouTube reach. So just bear with me. I read every single comment because I have no life and I have no friends and I don't know what I'm doing with my life other than YouTube. So this is all I do. I just play video games and teach you how to play them better. Uh, <laughs> it's my lasting stain upon this world before I perish. But other than that, uh, you know... Uh, Make sure you're subscribed because I'm going to leave a whole bunch of guides for this game. And you don't want to miss those. They're really good. And finally, 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 guys, on the right side of your screen, there's a video you should absolutely click. Let me just socialize here. I'm just skipping dialogue. There we go. We, when I talk to her tomorrow, I'll get five renown. On the right side of your screen is a video you should absolutely click. And if you click it, then you'll be able to hook up with one of the babes of this game and they won't reject you. But if you don't click it, they're going to turn you down and uh, it's going to feel really, really bad until you realize they're not real people. They're just scripted AI NPCs and there's no actual feels. Go get a real girlfriend. I, I can help with that. Join the Discord. <laughs>